with an update on my Weight Watchers journey. When I joined in September, I was really, really not feeling like this was going to work at all. I never anticipated being this far along in this journey. I never anticipated that I could even get this much closer to, you know, getting back to goal. I've been on the plan six and a half months now and I hit a huge milestone today. Hi, it's Kara from Sweet and Savvy Life here with an update on my Weight Watchers journey. I've been on the plan six and a half months now and I hit a huge milestone today. So please stay tuned. I wanna share with you not only the milestone, but the kind of retrospective on how this journey has been for me. It's not been all unicorns and rainbows, but it has been a fantastic journey so far and I'm so proud of the accomplishments I've made in just under seven months. So keep watching and I'm here to share with you, in my opinion, the best plan that anybody could go on because it's simple, it's relatively easy to do with the support of either the online or in-person community. And truly, you can eat anything you want. And even if you fall off the wagon, you can get right back on the next week. So let's jump right in. I went and joined Weight Watchers on September 10th after being really frustrated with my lack of progress in losing my weight postpartum. I think that will pretty much summarize it, but to go back even further, I was a lifetime member for years and years and years. I joined back in high school with my parents, and at the time, I probably only needed to lose about eight or 10 pounds to get to lifetime. But because I was on the plan and I was working hard and I was doing so well with it, I think at my lowest, I was about 23 pounds below what you need it to be to maintain lifetime creeping building weight, but also I don't think my body really liked it being that low either, even back then when I was much younger. To fast forward, I did stay on about 2013 or 2014. So I really kind of stayed right, right in that range. But fast forward, I, you know, put on five pounds, 10 pounds, 15, 20. So by the time I was going through my first IVF transfer, I was significantly above healthy, but in my opinion, it, I felt pretty okay about where I was at. I fast forward after postpartum and I'm, you know, nearly 40 pounds above, you know, what I was, you know, before the transfer, I was frustrated. I tried to use Lose It. Lose It in the past helped me lose that five, 10 pounds, get to, you know, healthier weight. So anyway, I was up 40 pounds from where I was at before I got pregnant. And I had tried a lot of different things, but nothing seemed to work. I just felt like, I didn't know. I, I was blaming it on, you know, my body has changed. I have PCOS, I have hypothyroidism. But truthfully, I think I needed a super structured and super supportive system. And for me, the system I've had the most success with from my history in needing to lose weight, um, starting in high school where I didn't have too much to lose to be back in a healthy BMI, was Weight Watchers. Um, Weight Watchers was a bit different back then. Uh, we were on, I believe it was points, just points. Um, it wasn't points plus, which I was still on um, as I maintained lifetime for a while. But yeah, we were on points, you know, at the time an apple and a bag of pretzels were the same amount of points, two points. And you know, where was the motivation to eat the pretzels? Or not eat the pretzels, eat the apple. Um, so things like that have definitely changed. Okay. So that's a little bit of my history. So when I joined in September, I was really, really not feeling like this was going to work at all. <laughs> I really, I went into it feeling that way. I was even looking into something called Be Balance, which is like a hormonal thing that you can pay you know, big money for, I think like $700, $800 for, just to see if my hormones, you know, were playing a part in my 
difficulty with losing weight, really having any success losing weight, aside from maybe five or 10 pounds within the first month or two of giving birth. So I went in hesitant, um, discouraged, not feeling like it was going to work for me because in my opinion, nothing worked. So that being said, I wanna share with you how it's been since then. So I saw success right away. I joined on a Sunday. I went to my first meeting on Thursday because the most convenient and really only convenient time for me is Thursday evenings at six o'clock with weigh-in starting at 5.30 p.m. Because I have a spouse that can take care of our son, it was something that I felt I needed to commit to, especially because not only did I wanna lose weight to be healthy, but I also wanted to lose weight if and when we were going to do another IVF transfer for another pregnancy because I was really scared about if I can't lose the weight now and then I have another pregnancy and then I'm going to gain more weight, you know, what does this look like for me? So I joined that and I was already seeing success from when I joined on Sunday till my first weigh-in. I think a few pounds were already down then. And then I really have had, I'd say somewhat of a similar cycle, so to speak, of how my weight loss has gone with a few exceptions. Typically what's happening for me is I have several weeks of success and by success, I mean losing like a pound and a half to two pounds, sometimes a pound, followed by a stall, a plateau, or even a weight gain. And I was actually just coming off a really pretty high upswing of a weight gain that had me again like no matter how many times it happens to me i feel frustrated and of course when i'm losing weight and feeling like i'm very successful i'm so motivated i'm so excited uh, you know it's just i think that's human nature you know we much prefer when things are going our way when we are successful when we feel like our efforts are amounting to something and we get frustrated when our efforts are not amounting to something. But when it comes to weight loss and our bodies and all sorts of like hormonal things, especially with women and our cycles and water retention and salt and all these things, like it's just how it is. And I think that is something that by going weekly to a meeting or as you know often as weekly as you possibly can, I think since I joined in September, I've probably missed about five weeks um, for various different reasons. Illness, um, like yesterday we had to take our son to the dentist uh, and it was a distance and I just couldn't get back in enough time to go. But besides that, I really think that helps because then you see this graph, you know, of your weight loss and yes, it may have ups and downs, but overall you're seeing a trend going down. So, I joined September 10th, today is, I really should know this, March 29th. So in about two weeks, I will be at seven months, totally on the plan. I really have a few tips and tricks that I wanna share before sharing what milestone I reached today on my home scale. But I really feel tracking, you have to track, even if you have gone over your points. Yesterday was a stressful day for me because at our son's dentist appointment, it turned out his lip tie that had been fixed when he was a little tiny baby at one, two weeks old needed to be refixed. And we just made the decision to get it done then. They offered to do it then. I just feel my nerves and my stress. And I, I did turn to the dark chocolate and, you know, I had two glasses of wine last night and different things like that. And yeah, you could say I wasted a lot of points, but I just feel like it's a part of how it goes. I kind of knew I was going to need some of those extra points after it went the way it went. And I feel like I'm not even going to be frustrated if I go over my weeklies this week, especially with the Easter holiday in a few days on Sunday. I just... I understand now that this is a process and a journey. It's not really, you know, either you fail or you, you're succeeding based off the number on the scale. You kind of have to throw out that mindset. And if you have that mindset and you can't really, you can't really change it, I think just shifting your perspective when you feel yourself getting in that downward spiral of thinking. Uh, I do, like my, my thinking always goes to, I guess this is all I'm gonna lose, or I guess I'm gonna gain weight now, or I guess 
I'm putting in the effort. Should I keep putting in the efforts? Should I keep, you know, to my daily points balance and things like that? And the answer of course is yes, but it's sometimes hard to remind yourself of those things when you're in the moment and when you feel like nothing's happening, you know, or, or something, something negative is happening, like you're gaining weight. So that brings us to today. I, am shocked that I have reached this milestone. No, I don't have the keychain charm for it. Yeah, I, well, first of all, I didn't even go to my meeting yesterday, nor, nor had I met this milestone yesterday. But as of today, on my scale, I was over 40 pounds down from when I, when I stepped on the scale, uh, that, that morning of September to that kind of was, you know, at the height of my, my, weight and was what prompted me to take this step. So yeah, I am 40.4 pounds down in just over six and a half months. And I am so proud of myself. All of my old jeans fit me. A lot of my dress pants don't fit me, but I think that's because I stretched them out in the early months of pregnancy. I never anticipate it being this far along in this journey. I never anticipate it that I could even get this much closer to, you know, getting back to goal, getting back to, you know, <laughs> free membership for being a lifetime member, because as they say, you're always a lifetime member, but you do have to get back to goal until um, you don't have to pay anymore. So I continue to pay my, I think my fee is, I think $25 a month. Uh, so it is so worth it to me. I can eat whatever I want. I just have to, you know, figure out the points, figure out, you know, what's worth it. I tend to like to have snacks at night and I do like to usually enjoy one glass of wine. Uh, last night was an exception. So I just budget it in. I budget it into my 23 points and even include some of those weeklies sometimes. I think I, I bobble between like 23 to 26 points a day on an average, I would say and it's been working for me. So that being said, I just want to encourage anybody who's watching that feels really frustrated, um, particularly for anyone who was in my exact situation, having a pretty significant weight gain during pregnancy and just seeming like there was no way of getting that weight off. I'm now about two, two and a half pounds lower than I was before pregnancy. So for me, that has been such a huge accomplishment and I just really, really, really encourage anyone who is actively seeking out a weight loss journey, program, whatever you want to call it. I mean, yes, it is technically a diet. They might not use that word, but if you're looking for something in that, in that field, I really, really recommend Weight Watchers. And for me personally, I really recommend the in-person meetings along with, of course, the app support, because when you have the membership that includes in-person meetings, you have all the benefits of being an online member too. It's just that you have the added benefit of going into meetings. I really made a lot of good connections. I feel like it's such a non-judgmental, supportive environment. I love our leader. We actually have had another leader filled in for a regular leader and both of them are really fantastic in their own different ways. So I really have gotten something out of every meeting I've attended and I really do get bummed when I can't attend a meeting. I just really wanted to share this update because it's been a while since I've done an update. I have done a few. Um, eat with me for a day. I'm doing well. I am down 40.4 pounds and continuing to lose. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Weight Watchers content, as well as if you're into Disney, we just went on a trip in February and we actually are planning another one for Memorial Day weekend. So additionally, cooking videos, lifestyle, organization, so much to share on The Sweet and Savvy Life along with deals, uh, deals with shopping and things like that because we do like to save money. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for your support. I have enjoyed learning so much from this online community and I love watching Weight Watchers content myself. So I hope you enjoyed this update and stay tuned for more.